Hey guys, wolf shirt, just saying. Um, so I'm in Calgary. I'm sitting in a Walmart parking lot, as usual, thinking about buying some new shorts. Maybe we'll see how the night goes. I don't know. Maybe I won't get any shorts. Pretty bored, as you can imagine. Uh, I'm just sitting here. It's 9 o'clock in Calgary right now. Uh, sun's still up, still probably a little too hot to leave the dogs in the RV, so I got everything wide open. And just trying to make sure the dogs are cool before I go out and about and try and shake it up with some cowboys. Gonna try and, uh, there's a bar up here. I might go in for a beer, maybe not. Depends if I want to drive to Revelstoke tonight or not. I could probably do one. But, uh, yeah, I, want, I'm, I might go to Revelstoke because uh, my buddy Broughton, Gave me some guy's number named Mike, and uh, he's in Revelstoke, which is about four hours from here. And uh, apparently there's like a welcoming committee of guys from Whistler that I'm going to be buddies with, because they're buddies with Broughton. And then I'm going to go party with a bunch of guys I don't know tomorrow in Revelstoke. So I might get there tonight, because I, I want to drive at night. I don't want to drive in the day tomorrow. I, don't, I do not want to do another Aneth breaking down at the side of the road day, walking around in freaking fields. Only now I'll be hiking mountains. So I don't want to be uh, hiking mountains on the side of the road. Not really in my best interest. So I think I uh, I might do a bit of boots on the ground work in Calgary tonight. And then maybe leave around 2 in the morning. Do a night drive. Roll into Revelstoke around 6 a.m., 5.30 a.m. Depending. Could be 8 a.m. if I break down four times again. Yeah. So. But it looks like I've got the tools necessary. I got a huge 4 liter jug of oil. So, she breaks down, I got it. Me and Anna are like this, you know? And I can't really cross my fingers because I've broken them, but I, not like we're on top of each other, but we're like, kind of, uh, we're like that. It hurts. And that's like me and Anna's relationship, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts walking around in a wheat field getting sunburned. It hurts having your heart palpations almost coming through your palpitations palpations is like touching palpitations it hurts when you're on the side of the road scared half to death that you're going to get pancaked by a transport truck going 130 kilometers per hour and it also hurts sitting in Walmart parking lots just waiting for the sun to go down so I can actually go talk to people instead of my phone so yeah. All right, so I'll let you know what's going to happen tonight with me if I'm going to go to Revelstoke or if I meet up some people that want me to stick around. I don't know. I'm going to go hang out inside that bar, try and get some interviews, and uh, try and generate some awareness about how um, the devalue community, whether it be mentally disabled, physically disabled, culturally different uh, minorities, how it can really, really be counterproductive to not be able to find a job. I think society and businesses especially should be open to the fact that they could be getting some really, really dedicated workers if they just switch their system provided to do the work a little bit. I, I'm trying to create an inclusive atmosphere in all workplaces where if someone has a physical disability and can't use their hands to type, well then get voice typing. It's stuff like that, so it's very easy and very affordable to get. And you could get yourself a dedicated, great mind who wants to start a career with your company, but he can't walk. Like, who cares? Right? If he can do the work. And vice versa. You know, if I'm sure there's lots of dudes out there that have mental disabilities that might not be able to manage the company for you. But there'll be something they can do and maybe an inclusive work environment is just finding jobs that you can give to someone who's going to be dedicated and who's going to stick with you i mean think about it if someone finds a good job and is a pretty simple dude who just wants to go to work and have a job to do every day so we can have a better life than odsp or whatever the provincial funding that the government gives people it's almost like a joke you know to, to live off that to live off 1300 bucks a month while you're paying rent and paying for all your bills 
and generally people who are devalued sometimes I mean of course not all the times but sometimes there's treatments or medical practices that they require that cost money that OHIP doesn't cover the whole system is corrupt the whole the whole thing is just messed up everything's messed up and all I can do is try and get people to know about it because if more people know about it well then they might know someone who can do something about it I don't know anybody who can do anything about it except myself so I'm doing what I can so that was a long rant about what I'm trying to do here it's the wolf shirt I think and I think you're stupid if you don't think that too okay so it's getting a little darker um, vlog 1 billion and 40 or something anyway peace <laughs>